Hi friends, happy to see you all back uh, with one more program and this is something very special about volunteering. So power of volunteering we have today. Uh, today what you see as Shakti will uh, been grown up last seven, eight years with uh, uh, MDRT as well as volunteering in different committees and related to that. It is so important in our lives to be volunteer, to helping other members. That's where you learn a lot of things and you also create a lot of friendships and a relationship with different part of the world. So as you all know that we are heading to the, uh, after two years meeting and we are heading back to the annual meeting and the Sydney Global Conference. And uh, uh, we, we must know a lot of questions on mind whether this meeting is going to be happened. And mainly on PGA members and uh, they are supposed to be the pillars of the, any conferences uh, they took places in that. So I have two special guests today. To, I, as a, as a, uh, a PGA member, I have a lot of questions for mine, so I want to ask him them. So today I'm going to welcome two special guests uh, from Glan uh, from Indonesia and we have uh, Tian from Malaysia. So before I'm just bringing to our program, I just want a short profile to them, both of them. Then I will invite our guests to our program. So today I'm just going to share Their profiles. So, so today program we are just moving to power of volunteering. You all know that it, uh, volunteering have different uh, uh, position to MDRT as well as uh, different committees. But what is the icing of the new attending the meeting as a PGA is all this program general arrangement that is what we used to call up that. So mainly people who arrange the program to all the members could satisfy and do that they can even comfortably attending the programs. So. I'm just going to see your uh, gland profile. So, gland, uh, most of them know the gland from Indonesia. He was being uh, nine times MDRT with his two times COT member, and he also be with the country chair for M uh, MDRT Indonesia. So, well known person, gland, and he also a speaker. Gran also written a, a, a he was also author for a two slides in the Art of Change books. And he done as a degree, uh, Bachelor of Computer Science and Digital System Securities and joined in the insurance industry in 2013. And uh, being with the MDRT, he is the youngest MDRT company chair for IA Indonesia and youngest MDRT Indonesian country chair for 2070, 2009. That's our biggest achievement in anybody in the youngest age, you can be a country chair and manage the uh, bigger country like Indonesia. And he been part of a uh, PGA like, I have grown with them, so I, I, I should call them uh, the brothers. So we are all go to the, the PGA one, the connecting point for us. So he has been PGA for several committees and uh, been traffic uh, on to Los Angeles and uh, about, uh, it is a growth process. You can able to see the profile where he's been taking it. Now, uh, GLAN is heading uh, Global Conference Sydney as a DVP. So that's, uh, that is what the growth when you do volunteering on the gland. So we'll discuss more into gland about asking how this growth is took place for him, what other things you dedicated for that. And again, uh, uh, not only is post of PGA, he also been more into uh, speaking skills into the MDRT days and global conference, connection zones. You also been with an into uh, virtual conference. So whenever that the voluntary, again, the speaking skills, he been wanted to give back to the uh, members around the world. It's about gland. Now we are moving to uh, Tian. Tian also a well-known person. He was been uh, uh, MDRT for so long and uh, been uh, uh, MDRT for more than uh, 13 years and uh, with uh, two, uh, three COTs with the two TOTs and he was been well-known person in Malaysia. You try a lot of members, even with the different committees and he has worked off of that. And I used to see the gentleman of uh, in MDRT used to know you he was always with the timing, uh, uh, the idea sharing. He was always, uh, I, I, I was he used to be like this more, more innovative kind of. He will always come some kind of innovative ideas. And uh, Tian also in then uh, uh, mindset playbook. He is one of the author of that uh, Malaysia. That's we all will ask about Tian about the details. And I want to, I want to 
uh, show about ease graph where in the MDIP is now. Uh, he started uh, into uh, in a long term back and he was growing to PGA. So you always do a assistant director with the both committee, like in you know, Sydney uh, means a uh, global conference as well as uh, annual meeting wherever they need it. So you don't see it that I was a director, I was assistant, and he always give the help and you know the MDRT need the PGA. So that's what I'm saying. It the voluntary is so much important in our professional to carry out that. So finally, uh, Boston. He is the uh, committee chair. So, Tian will come and talk about is what is the improvement in Boston, how, how, uh, what are the things if we can have the latest information about Boston. So, I'm not taking much time about their profiles. I'm just moving the our heroes to come to our program. So, let them invite them to our program to know about more and more on volunteering. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Tian. Welcome to our program. Hi, Santi. So it is like two pillars bringing to the same program. I think uh, I think most of them love them. So being a PGA member, I have the honor to do that. And uh, I, I think I, I, again, I should thank for NDRT. So we have been seen in the NDRT annual meetings. We grow together, we work together. Today we are sitting in. And this is something very special. I want to bring it to you both because after two years, we could not able to make it in person. We are done last meeting with, with the Sydney Global Conference after that. Long waiting, I think this time again it's going to be up in Boston. Uh, Boston is already in action, and uh, we know more about we can uh, ask uh, about Tian and uh, uh, Glenn already in action about Sydney. We have planned it and it is going to be uh, that. And I think the both meetings will be post COVID, and I think everybody will love it with the way what we are taking back. So Hi, uh, Tian. Uh, uh, how, how's, how's things? And uh, can you tell about the journey, to Tian? How you are taken up, and uh, what was the new things going to be in Boston? Um, I think in Boston this year, um, after two years of not having a annual meeting, I think the excitement is going to be back. Um, we are expecting a smaller event uh, because many members from around the world. Um, still are not able to travel. Although we, we do see that the world is opening up, you know, so most of the country, um, especially in Southeast Asia, you know, are lifting um, a lot of the restrict, uh, restrictions, you know, going to endemic and things like that. But we still see a lot of countries, uh, um, especially China and Hong Kong, still have very strict, um, um, uh, what you would call that, uh, 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 restriction when it comes to COVID-19. So anyhow, so going back, so we're expecting a smaller event um, but at the same time, we are um, very much looking forward to a return, you know, to welcome MDRT members from around the world uh, to return um, to MDRT annual meeting. And uh, I think it's really going to be excited and uh, people are going to see the same thing, you know, the same thing doesn't mean it's bad. You know, I think the content is very powerful this year. I have seen some of it. Cannot tell you guys what it is, but then, you know, I think the content will be really, really amazing. As usual, you know, MDRT always have amazing content but i think what you will see this year in boston you know and i believe also in uh, sydney uh, later this year is a renewed energy by the mdrt member and i think that's the most you know impactful and powerful that we will be able to see uh, in 2022 wonderful uh, uh, how about glenn and uh, how's your energy levels on how's the sydney preparation took place and uh, happy to see you yeah. So what was the yeah, yeah. Was, uh, so as Stan said um yeah as Stan said as well um, I, I'm really excited because we we don't have like a two years meeting because of pandemic situation and uh, also this year I hope I hope finger cross um Sydney open up soon it's already open but but uh, we are planning on it uh, as of today now it's March. If you check in the website, uh, there is no registration information, there is no housing information, etc. But we are going there for sure, right? So uh, we'll we'll wait for the sequence. First is annual meeting, then it will be open up for a global conference. So it doesn't mean that there's no information in the website. It doesn't mean that we are not going there. No, no, we will have the event there, uh, and. Yeah, for two years, we don't have on-site meeting. And I believe uh, since there's a lot of uh, Southeast Asia country lift up the uh, quarantine period, uh, according to, to the government, I think uh, Sydney is more reachable than United States. 
you know so we expect uh, a lot number of, of people coming to sydney of course we will talk about the health protocol because we're still in the pandemic situation and everything so um what i suggest to all of you guys um, just book the ticket first you know the airline ticket the uh, housing hotel something like that because you can always do refund if you cannot go because of pandemic but of course we want you to be there we want you to experience and especially for this year uh we have prepared something excited sakti also part of it in a global conference um we we have a team of um, futuristic for our global conference pga so yeah what it is like i think you should go to sydney and follow this for sure wonderful wonderful uh, plan we are waiting for that and so uh, so we don't teach about that voluntary because people we, we will do it for ourselves right so yeah. i just want a basic question both of you that so why this voluntary is so important uh, to grow your professional in or as well as now own career how you see it then you want to go first yeah 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 sure no worries okay so uh, i'm, I'm so you know uh, uh, volunteering for me is really part of my mdrt life so since the beginning i joined mdrt uh, i don't know the situation there even even uh, when the first time i was joining pga my friends told me hey do you want to get a hat right uh, if you want to get a hat you need to volunteer for mdrt then i say okay uh, i volunteer for mdrt i don't know what is pga and then uh, one of the i believe it was Uh, assistant director with them uh she told me to stand uh in front of the store you know in the shopping mall and then my job is only like good morning mdrt this way that's it right so in my mind i don't know what is this but uh, it's very fun right it's very fun and uh, i i high fiving a lot of people and when i see there um you know when first come to the annual meeting or uh and that experience back then there, we are all using the tags right and in the tags there is a ribbon and you know the ribbon sometimes uh there's a cot tot something like that you know and the position they got and i saw the ribbon wow uh, all of these great people i can meet them and when you're pga and uh, this great people will come to you and 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 uh, high fiving you and then talk to you you know and I say oh wow pga is really something then i i thought that way pga is really something that i uh i move on to i mean every year i volunteer for pga every single year and then i got the position in a, a assistant director director chair and then now finally the Uh, DVP is a process, and this learning process, I mean the leadership process, I can apply this in my daily life as well. So as an advisor, as an agency leader, this uh, this kind of leadership skills, I can apply it into uh, my my agency. So yeah, so it's a win-win solution. You serving for MDRT. I always say that I'm not the one who help MDRT, but MDRT helping me to grow. So that's the idea. Perfect, perfect. So you, Tian? Um, I think for me, uh, volunteerism with MDRT is, uh, you know, like what Glenn said, is really special. I mean, those who have been to MDRT events, um, where it's a global conference, you know, um, annual meeting, or it could be a first-time event, you know, MDRT day in your country, I think members will realize, and for those who are new, um, you will come to realize that MDRT events most of the time are run by volunteers. You know, for example, like annual meeting, global conference, the two big events. You know, um, uh, by MDRT. Of course, there is a professional team. There are actually quite a few professional teams behind the scene. Um, you know, to run the event. However, what makes it so special is the PGA team because it pretty much handles the whole operation of um, you know, a annual meeting or the global conference. And I think. The last, back in 2018, in uh, the annual meeting in uh, Los Angeles, we have close to 1,000 PGA volunteers involving in a meeting, and I think it's a really wonderful way to give back uh, to MDRT and to enjoy the magic of MDRT events. Uh, you will not see 
this kind of arrangement in any other events that you will go to, insurance or not. I think this is one of the things that makes MDRT special. And like Glenn said, again, it's one of the best ways because I, my experience, I, I mean, I didn't join until 2016 and I was a member since 2010. For the first five years, I always find MDRT event very, um, what is that word? Uh, 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 very scary in many ways because there's so many people and there are so many people from so many countries and you are just one of tens of thousands of people. And and I think a lot of members, you know, if they do go for the first few times and if they don't go with a lot of friends, they will feel very lost. And then PGA is a wonderful way because, you know, immediately you are in a family of, uh, you know, fellow members that care for the same thing, that wants the same thing. And, you know, from the reaction of, you know, some of the very senior members or the TOT, the COT, you know, the high fine is just them telling you, you know, they appreciate what you are doing. They are welcoming you uh, to PGA. They are welcoming you uh, to MDRT. They are saying congratulations to you because you are voluntary, you know, to and, and, give, and to give back. And uh, the hope is that if you can volunteer for MDRT, then you will have the habit and the mindset to volunteer elsewhere, um, especially, you know, giving back to your community, giving back to your country. And I think those are all hand in hand. You know, so, and, and, and I think it just overall enhance someone's, you know, a person's experience. For those who have not volunteered and for those who have, who have volunteered, their experience leaving the meetings are very, very different. Very different. Yeah. So, so it's something that, I mean, well, if all the members do it, then we have, you know, 10,000 volunteers. So we cannot have that. But then, you know, I think if you want to help, there are many, many ways to help, you know, but I think do sign up for volunteer and it, it's going to be fun. Yeah, especially Sydney. I think, you know, like what Glenn said just now, you know, book your ticket early because it's happening. You know, whatever it is happening, I think now things are still cheap. So you want to like take action and, you know, rather than wait till later on. Yeah, if you ask me. So. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, and I remember my days where I did a volunteering at that. When I was being first meeting, I went to the, they would call up uh, when I was born to buy uh, my registration ticket and somebody called me, hey, we got a first time, uh, you know, that's that's way I got, see, I was being surprised on some 10, 15 tweets around me and we laugh in different country people appreciating me there, there were the energy starts, right? So I moved from that. Then I been the person in the registration committee and I've been welcoming each and every member. When you do that uh, from different country, people come stand with you because you are with the different ads, with uh, like uh, ribbons and everything you make something different from others to show that you've been volunteering and helping the members and mean they come and take a lot of photographs they'll ask you a lot of details about uh, all things happen when this meeting took place the wonderful experience i think uh, you both have got two legends so i i would have said that's what one of the things i'm being wonderful that i i, I was just waiting for to have the same experience back with uh, uh we were whatever things because we are we have been missing a lot of things in the last two years i think that uh give energy back we again see back and we do a lot of implementations and that's what we are shared in the new plan we are talking about some smiling mask <laughs> so implementations into uh, uh welcoming the members and other things Move forward. There's uh, um, a lot of a lot of uh, the uh, uh, PGA members have these questions like uh, how this uh, the PGA member can grow on MDRT. So, what was your view? How they can able to grow from a PGA member to the DVP? So, what was their how to do and what was this pointing systems to place? Can you want to start? Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I think Glenn mentioned a little bit earlier. So if you look at PGA, you know, it's a huge sort of pyramid situation. And um, um, at the base of it is a lot of volunteers. Then above that is another layer. We have assistant, you know, directors, which I think we have about 33, 30 to 33 to 35 given, you know, in the, in the whole team. Then on top of that, you have seven directors. Then you have three chairs. Then you have one DVP, you know? So it's like a, so, you know, so I think, if you, if that is something that you are aiming for, you know, for the leadership role, you know, to be part of the, you know, MDRT global leadership team uh, through PGA, I think, you know, um, you have to, first of all, you have to enjoy it. You have to, you know, do it, not because you're coming to PGA thinking that this is the quickest way to, for you to go out, you know, to be, you know, I mean, to leadership, but to really, you, you come in because you love it. And just so happen you, 
are good with leadership as well, and then they promote you up the chain. You know, so I think that is something that you know people need to understand. And I think you have to be be able to work um, to truly volunteer, not volunteer for the sake of showing, but you know to truly to volunteer with no expectation. I think that's the most important thing. You know, volunteer with no expectation because people are people are looking. You know, I, you know, I can. So one one of my experiences is that I, you know, I come to learn that you know people are always uh, monitoring because all the senior members in MDRT they are constantly looking for the next generation of uh, of leaders, not just with PGA with MDRT in general. So the, you know, people are constantly looking at those who truly um, want to make MDRT better. And I think that is what you do, you know, and, uh, you know, do work, you know, do it well. And eventually I think you'll be recognized. You know, one of the things that uh, my previous DVP always tell me, Dodo from the Philippines, you know, he always tell me, just be patient, you know, just be patient. Um, you know, things will come. And, uh, and, I, and I think, you know, but then if you take away that, but if you only think about moving up the ladder and doesn't enjoy if you do not enjoy the process of being PGA, then you'll miss out a lot of things. So, and then those kind of opportunities would not come because, you know, people will see it anyway. So I just think that, you know, you have to enjoy it. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Oh, and do good work. <laughs> yeah, good work. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I totally agree with, with Tian, you know. Uh, you have to enjoy it. You have to, to uh, have fun in there, for sure. So not just you're, you're joining PGA because I want the hat, I want to take picture with the hat with my friend, and then you're assigned to one or two shifts, and then maybe one shift for one and a half hours, and then you just show there for 15 minutes, and then you went off, right? <laughs> because that happens a lot of time, you know? So yeah, uh, for me, PGA is, is um, yeah, I have to enjoy it. You have to... Um, have fun with it, you know, and then you have to do the extra miles. For, for example, like, um, uh, let, like Ken said, you know, the seniors, um, the seniors people, I mean, the AD, the, the, the directors, the DVP, the chairs, they're always looking. And the first time, you know, I just enjoy myself. I just uh, high five with people. I just uh, say hi to people. You know, I never thought that I will be moved as an AD. You know, I never thought that, but behind the scene, let me tell you something, behind the scene, there is a grading system, you know, MDRT is keeping the grading system. So every time you volunteer, each one of you will get a grade, will, will, will get a grade from your assistant director. And this record is kept uh, for a very long time with, with MDRT, you know, so once you're a volunteer, please make sure that you are doing it 100%, you know. You're doing 100%, you're, you're doing it with, with your heart, and then the day will come, as Tian said. You will move up to uh, assistant director, you know. And I re really remember uh, I was assistant director with Tian in, in uh, Thailand, in, and so director right. in uh, Los Angeles, right, in some other places, you know. I grew with Tian together, and, you know, every single time, we got a blisters in our uh, legs, you know, you know, <laughs> because because of we're wearing the working shoes and we got blisters every single time, you know. But because we we'll walk like fifteen thousand steps, two thousand twenty, like fifteen thousand steps, twenty thousand steps a day. Uh, but we enjoy it every time. There is an offer from MDR. Hey, do you want to be a director for this or assistant director for this? We're always saying yes, you know, because we're doing with heart. So yeah, please make sure that you when you're you're uh, joining PGA, you're doing with your heart. You come to your shift earlier. You do the extra miles, and yeah, I think you can move up to uh, the the the, ladder, the leadership ladder. Yeah, I mean, I just want to add something really quick. You know, I think I th yeah. you know I think you know when you talk about the passion of PGA, you know, uh, why you want to do it and things like that. For me, it was very simple. So I started back in 2016 uh, my, in Vancouver. Um, it was just a um, stroke of, I mean, not stroke of luck, you know, it, I was just answering a, um, a, a, a Facebook post by one of the ADs at that time. 
And I was thinking to myself, you know, annual meetings will be in three days and this guy is still looking for volunteers. It, has, it must be bad. So I answered his email, Facebook, you know, I was like, oh, you know, me and my couple of my friends will have time. So, you know, he was very excited. He assigned me to a few spots and I did a few spots. Okay, that's my introduction to PG. I'm like, okay, you know, this is not bad. And in 2017, another AD reached out to me. He's from Brunei, you know, uh, so I was like, okay, must help you. So there's one day, this is back in Orlando. And there's one day uh, he gave me a super early shift. Like I had to report by six o'clock in the morning. You know, like what Glenn say, you know, who, who does that? Who wants to report at six o'clock in the morning? You know, when I'm paying to come to this event and he's a friend. So I was like, why not? You know, so I was like, I'll do it. No, no issue. You know, Orlando, super hot, sitting outside six o'clock in the morning. But then what is really, really amazing is that the smiles that you put on people's face because it's so early and then you, you, you so you will start seeing people going to you know they will so i have so i have to stand across from the from the uh, convention hall and the traffic light so as people walk past you can see that they are going to mdit because they have the lanyard so you know and then you just say oh, hi good morning you know simple things and immediately like so it, it, it you know it woke them up it put a smile to their face and you know after a while i was just like wow you know this is easy, you know, and this is fun. What are wonderful things that you are doing, you know? I mean, putting a smile on someone's face first thing in the morning. They don't even need coffee anymore. They're like drinking their coffee, but in, immediately, you know, they put a smile. And I think that's what PGA is for. You know, it's about, it's about caring for the members. It's about giving back to the members. It's about putting that smile on people's face. It's really that simple. Yeah, I think if you love doing that, if you have a passion for that, you know, like what Glenn say, you know, it's true. It's all true. The blisters, you know, and you understand. Yeah. LA and Orlando and Miami are yeah. very hard places. And if you are doing traffic, especially general traffic, you have to stand outside. Who wants to do that? But you do because you know it will create something special for all the members that comes. That's all you need to know. Yeah. You know, so I think, so that's what, you know, so from that point, from that moment onwards, I tell myself, okay, you know, PGA is something that I need to be involved every time, you know, when I go to MDRT event, so. Thanks, uh, Tian. I remember in Miami, uh, my early days, <laughs> standing in uh, standing in a 44 degrees with uh, convincing the numbers. And uh, I think uh, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, it was everybody's contribution, like it's a teamwork, right? So they don't bother. So one thing is good in about MDGA is there, they don't say about language or they about the countries. There's only one thing called MDRT, so the people will stand. So I think uh, there are the where we carry water bottles uh, to their outside, give them hybrid. They should not get hybrid out of that. Give umbrellas to them, and uh, the way. But lightly, uh, Tian said the one smile and uh, wishing them to coming inside. They be a rich country at it, but you are welcoming that. That's a way uh, connecting point. The people understands your value. And they will come and take a photo with you as well as you helping them. And not only that, there are there are something hotel pickups normally we do. So we go with the van, buses, we'll pick up them, should we'll drop them, the hotels to uh, convention centers. They are there. I think in Miami, uh, suddenly the flood took place and one of our ladies, he always been trying to the, the flooded vehicle, he was dropping back the members safely to the hotel. Uh, those experience and all uh, uh, incredible and uh, always the PGA members do that. So they always be there. And I'd like to say uh, the number of steps we walk, we may reduce weight <laughs> if you become <laughs> PGA member for an event, mainly on graphics and main platform. So number of steps you need to walk through one corner to other corners, it takes a lot of things, but the courage to increase more and more members to be uh, active on that. The connecting points, I, I always see that this is the connecting point. So we can able to connect each members from different countries different experience, different uh, religious, different, but the point is sharing it about, about uh, insurance apart from the business and you will also set up uh, uh, happiness into that. So mainly two events you can about share about, one is the PGA kickoff. So everybody uh, uh, energetic come to, when this kickoff took place to meet our own friends, which are the teams took place one. Another one is that PGA appreciation receptions and after the hard work, we all get together and have this uh, wonderful event, right? So what was your experience on that, actually? Experience in terms of what, the PGA kickoff? Uh, kickoff and appreciation meeting. No. I mean, kickoff is actually a good introduction, I think. Kickoff is a, is a must-do if you're PGA members because you're in the same room with 
your fellow PGM member, you know, your fellow volunteers. And I think it's really nice to, because every, all the PGM members, you know, are everywhere, but, but at least, you know, there's one hour, I think on Saturday afternoon where everyone come together, be in the same room and celebrate um, the joy of being BGA, you know, the joy of volunteer and, um, and then to, to see who are the leadership team, you know, and, and to have a fun session. Yeah. So I think it's wonderful. So, but Glenn, what do you think about the um, appreciation night? Yeah, yeah. I mean, appreciation night, we can, you know, there is no boundaries in there. You, I mean, from DDP to the volunteers, all is there. You know, this is the, the wonderful thing about PGA, you know. Oh, I don't see you as an AD, as a director or as a chair, but we are all like a whole family, you know. So we mingle, we speak to each other. It's, it's really nice. It doesn't matter your country your age and everything. We just have fun at, the, at that night, you know. Yeah. And I think I have to mention one special event also, the MDRT. Um, I think the reception night, isn't it? It's for the awarding for the best worker, you know. So, it is also, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It is also very, very, very nice, you know. If you work very well, uh, your AD will pick you as the best worker. And then usually we do the a reception night in the hotel, like in a small room. Just right. your AD, your director, your chairs, and DVP in there. You'll be introduced to the team, you know, and congratulate you as the best worker, and probably you're the next, uh, the next uh, leaders in, in in MDRT. So that's what MDRT do, you know. Uh, they really take care of all of us, you know. Um, we have a lot of events, and yeah, we hope you can enjoy what P what uh, PJ can give. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, really quick, the appreciation night, you know, so, so, yeah. so the PGA kickoff is for PGA, but the appreciation yeah. night is actually to celebrate all the volunteers because yeah. what, you see, what we're talking about right now is PGA, but then there's another team called PDC. So PDC yeah. handled the content of the event. So they are going to be there as well. And all the other volunteers, so anyone that, and all the committees, where MDRT has a lot of committees. So all the volunteers for MDRT that year are invited to go to this appreciation night. So you are, again, you know, so first, if you're, let's say if you're in PGA, Saturday, you meet your fellow PGA volunteers. And Sunday, you meet, you, you, you will get a chance to meet all the volunteers under MDRT. And I think it's really wonderful, you know, for you to exchange ideas, to chit chat, you know, to meet new friends. You know, I think that's the most important thing. That's what the annual meeting, the global conference is about, is to meet friends, you know, meet friends, uh, meet people that can make us better. So I think, you yeah. know, yeah. so that's the opportunity right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just want, just want to add on something, you know. Um, please make sure you come earlier because kickoff is before the meetings. Okay, so right. if the meeting is in twenty fifth, you have to come maybe at twenty third to give you more time to attend the kickoff. Because if you miss kickoff, uh, well, kickoff is very fun. There's uh, actually there's a speakers in there. Usually the president of MDRT will come, will congratulate you, something like that. Yeah. No, uh, um, thanks, uh, Dian and uh, uh, Glenn. Uh, it's wonderful that you have been chatting about that. Uh, the uh, the normal uh, advisors and new uh, new members they have a lot of questions like uh, different task forces. So yeah. They call them a, can you able to tell them what are the top task forces we have so they can able to easily choose which they choosable for that. You mean for PGA? Yeah, PGA. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I thought you want to know all the task force. I was like, there's so, <laughs> so um, many. That's like a million committees with MDRT. <laughs> well, that I have to do separate work. <laughs> <laughs> Just in a PGA, what are the task forces they can able to choose it? Can anyone explain? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so basically, PGA, um, you know, the structure is that there are three main committee. Yeah. So you have the member logistic committee which handle the traffic so the traffic will break into traffic general which handles the outside area general traffic then you have session traffic which are the team that handles all the rooms for the uh, focus sessions so usually there's about three teams there um, depending on the uh, meeting and how they want to structure it like annual meeting we usually have one general and two sessions i think global you guys have two general and one session yeah, or, yeah. so it's slightly yeah. different you know, because the structure of the building is different, you know, that sort of thing. So that's member logistic. Then you go into member enhancement, which handle uh, two task force. One is the main platform, 
And the other one is what we call meeting involvement. Meeting involvement is quite special because meeting involvement, a lot of their work is due pre, uh, pre-event. So basically what they do is they, 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 will, they, will, they, they will have their own pool of volunteers, uh, especially spe- uh, language special uh, specific volunteers. So someone from traffic might need, let's say, you know, the, the, the assistant director from traffic might need someone that, let's say, speaks, uh, you know, uh, 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 I don't know, Japanese, but, she, but he or she doesn't have a Japanese volunteer on her team. Then they'll go to meeting involvement and request and see whether they have one. So anyhow, so that's mem- member enhancements taking care of meeting involvement and also main platform. Then the last one is member services, which handles registration and also MDRT store. So those are the seven teams, seven task force under three, uh, three committee, you know, so each of them is, uh, is different. Um, you know, each of them is quite fun. Uh, I think uh, each of them will give you the opportunity to, to meet a lot of new friends. Yeah, but I think if, if you ask me and Glenn, I think yourself as well as Activel, we we came up uh, from the traffic, yes, yeah, the, the traffic path. So we have tasted, I think, the hardest part of PGA. <laughs> but uh, I, I I see traffic one is that make a lot of friends because there are yes. a lot of members yeah. coming outside. So the specific areas we can able to only meet the specific members, but traffic one you be able to be, greet everyone. Yes. So we've been able to connect more and more people. That it's the hardest one as well as you will be in more. And a lot of photographs will take place when you are in traffic. Yes. That is what we United. You should have come with yes. nice. Uh, see, like uh, the appreciation of uh, in, uh, wearing the uh, blazers and ads, with the, you should be very professional. So that definitely will be highlighted when you will be on a meeting on that. Yeah. You know, Sakti, uh, why I love traffic the most, you know, because traffic is the first phase for the meetings. Right, because you're not just outside the venue. Sometimes you are inside the lobby hotel. You know, so when they wake up, go to the lobby. You already see the face of traffic people. You know, so yeah, I love traffic people. Although it's the toughest, as Tian say, but I got more chance to meet a lot of people, to see, uh, to see their smile for the first time before they entering the building. So it's changed the mood. Uh, a whole day, you know, in, in traffic. But I'm, I'm not saying that the other task force is not good. It's all have a uniqueness themselves. Like maybe main platform, you will be uh, handling the main platform area. You know, it's also very nice. And then um, store, you, 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 you help people to selling the merchandise. It's also nice. Every, every task force is nice. And we have also like... Uh, like an experience in traffic station. I believe I was with Tian back then, you know, because my face are from uh, Chinese Indonesian. So there's a lot of Chinese people talk to me, you know, in, in, in Mandarin. But unfortunately, I cannot speak Mandarin. So that's why we are from global, uh, global uh, I mean, network. So we have a chance to meet people from around the world. Yeah. No, the basic questions, you know, the a lot of uh, PGAs, you know, even in my early stay, I make these mistakes. I, I click it all the all the PGA uh, ADs, I give everybody click it and say, I'll work for you. So will that not correct way to do, right? So what was your, they're supposed to work at least one or two companies only, right? So what was your role to learn more? Yeah, you mean, you mean how many task force we can... Uh, yeah, no, early, early days, no, I, I, I mean, I say I'll, I'll just click it two to three your task forces or more than that. I'll say everybody okay. else, then I'll work for it. But then yeah, later yeah. understand that you need to have more concentration, you need at least a one way or not two yeah, task yeah, forces yeah. to do more of that. Yes. So uh, I can recommend if you want to volunteer, maybe a maximum for two task force. Or if you like have more time, you can always volunteer for another task force as well. Because the idea is when you register for your annual meeting or for a global conference, there is a PGA, uh, PGA link in there and you are asked which task force, if you want to volunteer for PGA or not, if yes, which task force do you prefer? You know, uh, going deeper, if you know the assistant director, you can choose the name of your assistant director in there. Yeah, so for me, I think it's the best to just put one or two. So you want to be like, first, I want to be in traffic general, and second, I want to be in main platform. So after that, you will be assigned. Sometimes you're not assigned in the place where you want, sometimes, you know, but as uh, Tian already said as well, I, I do really believe that 
all the task force are good, are unique, and you have to volunteers at least try for all task force, and you will know how it works. Yeah. I think for those, you know, I, I mean, I think you are, if you are first time um, attendee, uh, you know, to MDRT uh, annual meeting or global conference, you know, I would suggest maybe just do one because I think each task force will require you to volunteer two sessions yes. and each session is usually about two hours. It, it, it can last from 90 minutes to, to three hours, depending on which task force, depending on how many volunteers they have in that task one and things like that. So I, so I would say, you know, just do one because you still want to enjoy the meeting. You still want to go around, you know, and see things and relax and talk to other members, take your photos, you know, there's a lot of things to do. Um, you know, we want you to volunteer, but we don't want you to like spend all your time volunteering. If you are, let's say, you know, you've been in, to annual meeting a couple of times, you know, then, you know, why not try to go into, you know, volunteer for a different team? Because I think, you know, like what Glenn was saying earlier, you know, each team is quite unique because each team, you know, will do different things, you know, so, uh, but just, you know, you can volunteer for two. I think two is a good number. Three is a bit gun ho if you ask me. Not that you cannot, but I think three is a bit much because always remember, you know, it will, it will not be fair if you do three and then you tell your assistant director that you're only going to do one shift instead of the two that, that's required. Yeah, just because you want to have a lot more experience, but then, you know, he or she will need to figure out, you know, someone else to replace you for the additional ship. So always remember, the more you click, the more time you're going to spend volunteering, which is not a bad thing, but also, again, we want you to enjoy your event, you know, so, so that's very important. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, Yeah, and I would have a suggestion for the members who traveling both like Boston and Sydney, do different task forces, so you'll experience into different, like, uh, yeah, even to start, start like registration, enjoy the registration process and you welcome the member, be in the traffic general, then be in a participate to main platform, focus section. Apart from there is other committees like uh, foundations, we have a task force where you can able to contribute to foundation as well as speaker licensing also you can experience about, you can able to intro the speakers. There are some summer committees, but experience there where you can able to uh, each one. I, I think uh, uh, you just talk about MDRT store, as Bland rightly put it, that where you can able to meet most of the speakers will have promote their books over there. So you get a lot of connection. You can able to talk to them about experience. So I, I, I explored myself with a lot of speakers that MDRT stores. So that same thing in MD, MDRT main platform, you can able to do that uh, ongoing MDRT speaks and other speakers will be there. They're in the uh, stage where you can able to connect with them. So there's all things available. And if you're a BGA member, that's your opportunity to meet even the SCAMs over there, be there, you'll be able to connect with them. So you can able to talk to them about take a photographs. That's a biggest advantage for me and a BGA member for a lot of fun. So, Thanks, uh, Glenn, and thanks, Tian. Before winding up, my final questions to you both. And uh, what was your suggestion for new members being coming and after they register for a meeting? Uh, so if they go for a, uh, after registering a PGA member, what they have to do it and what was your suggestion? And uh, both of you. After the, uh, after the PGA registration, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I'm not asking about ADs and directors, I'm talking about yeah, yeah. the members. Yeah, yeah. So I think, that, you know, so what like Glenn was saying earlier, you know, so after you register for the annual meeting, eventually global conference, then it will come to a section asking you if you want to volunteer. So PGA is one of the choices that you can tick. So, you know, so you go in there, say, okay, you want to volunteer. And then, then you have a drop down list of all the task force and then all the ADs name. You know, so if you recognize some names, you can be like, oh, you know, I, you know, I don't mind working for my friend. So you can do that. And um, so once you select, then you just have to wait for the AD to contact you and let you know what is next. Um, you know, so, be, so, so, so I think the progression would be, you know, the AD will welcome you, you know, formally, you know, onto the, uh, the, the task force, um, you know, uh, to let you know how important it is and how proud we are, you know, for your selfless, you know, contribution, that's one. And then eventually, you know, uh, the AD would start asking you, you know, when are you arriving, some of the arriving information and all that, um, then we'll assign shift for you, you know, so I think that, and then you just have to make sure that on the day of the shift, you know, you be there 10, 15 minutes before your shift time, because P Glenn, because PGA, what do we say? <laughs> Early is on time and on time is late. 
Of okay. course. Uh, at least on time, on time is late. Yep. So, you know, we, we always have, we always try to instill that kind of uh, uh, mentality, uh, you know, to our volunteers. And I think like, you know what, uh, what, 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 what Glenn said earlier, you know, a lot of things that we learn, leadership that we learn in PGA, we can, you know, bring it back and use it in our life, not just our business, you know, our daily life, how we handle our friend, our relationship with our, you know, with our clients, with our friends, with our family members, you know, there's so much, you know, that, that, that we can do. And honestly, you know, to be, to, to be quite honest, I'm very proud of the, the whole, you know, on time is late, late, uh, early is on time situation, you know? So, I mean, that forces me to be a different person. So I will always try to be early um, every time when I go to a meeting. I don't always achieve that, but, you know, I will always, always try to do it. So at least like nine out of 10 times, I'm always early. And I think that is the training from PGA. And, you know, and you bring that back to your business, you bring it back to your life and people are really impressed that, wow, you know, you're always on time or you're always early, you know, and I think, it, you know, I think it, it enhanced you as a person. Yeah. What else, what else, Glenn? What, what else should people yeah, yeah. be expecting? <laughs> yeah, I just want to add on what Tien has already said, the show is already complete, you know. Uh, maybe maybe some, some thoughts, you know, if you are registered, you already picked the AD's name and the AD's has reached out to you, you know, please reply to them because they really want to know that you are there and you are willing to participate, you know. And in some condition, you know, uh, uh, for example, I uh, already registered to, let's say, Sakti, you know, but my friends told me, hey, 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 uh, Sakti is with Traffic General. I want to volunteer for another task force. So I want, uh, let's say, Tian as my AD, let's say, you know. And suddenly these people are not replying to Sakti and going to Tian without knowing the, 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 the system, you know. And it could mess up the system because Sakti will wait for the people to contact, the, to contact him. And Tian doesn't know he got a new PGA member from Sakti, Sakti teams, something like that, you know. So if you are already registered to one task force and if you want to move to another task force, please let your AD know so the system will record you because it's, everything is recorded in the system, you know, right. because uh, yeah, AD needs to, to recruit numbers of people. If they are short, they uh, have to add more people, you know. So it's really important, the communication and uh, nowadays, uh, usually AD makes the WhatsApp group, I believe, or line or something like that. So it's easier for you guys to communicate. And that's the important thing. You have to communicate. You have to reply what time you will uh, go there. And then uh, AD will also tell you what time your shift is. If you cannot, don't just skip silence, but reply that I cannot make it at this time. Can you give me another shift? Something like that. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, uh, both of you, and uh, thanks for joining today and giving a lot of explanation about. I'm happy uh, to connect with both of you and uh, see you uh, in uh, waiting to see both of you in Boston as well as into uh, yeah. Sydney and eager to help wherever they want it and we're ready to give hands for because it's going to be our meeting and we have to help members to connect new, new friends again and uh, create and uh, a lot of we need to have uh, responsibility to create more leaders in our own groups and the uh, the uh, Tian and Glan was being more experienced about talking about how these been changed their life and even to me it has changed my life because I, today oh, people know about because of my PGA I connected to the several country people so they have been know about uh, on the this is the art of that we should thank for India again I'm just saying it and this is a growth prospect. You can't be a same like a normal MDRT member. You have to take your volunteership. Any of this like into speakings or into the PGA, PDC or any aspect, but try to grow in your ladders and your experience to other members, create a leader. That is what the MDRT talk about. The sharing is very, very, very important there. So this is what to learn about PGA. So I have kept this uh, thought into my mind for a longer time because there are new uh, members who have a lot of questions, but they could not able to ask you where the right people to ask you. So we have uh, Tian and Glenn is more experienced. Into, they are grown to that particular PGA. So they are given the details. And any more questions, definitely I'm putting the um, uh, email IDs here. You can able to send me a questions. They will give back your solutions as well as we can able to connect them in, in Boston or Sydney. We will be always helping you with that, actually. Thank you so much. Wonderful to connect with you all. We'll see one more program about different 
topics. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. See you, Boston. See you, Sydney. Thanks, Gan. Thanks, Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.